you ask stuff. me, I would do like triple the boost, the shift the 9,000, and let's see what this baby makes. That, that'll be my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so worried about what it makes. <laughs> to 11? Yeah. Are you crazy? You didn't even try to shift? I wasn't I wasn't pulling soon enough. Okay. Yeah. Well let's see the let's lock. See if it commanded yeah. It. See, yeah, see what happened. Yeah, see what happened. We could open it up. Uh, um, four hundred might be right. If you have uh, I mean I wouldn't open up that to like you know, two fifty or something just to start out, and see where we're at. It's at one ninety, like one ninety is for kinda of double what I usually have. Okay. So okay. we could do you you send me some logs, right? Which one is a good log that we can check just to make sure that we have the dyno set up similar to how it goes on the track? Right? The one that's... Because now we have this leaf, we can compare. The one that says 490 at 150. 490. Yeah, if you didn't search motorsports. Oh, so it did hit it. Yeah. Okay, well, I, I wasn't ready then. Four ninety one fifty. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna send to you, and then uh, open the log together, and let's compare drive shaft with. Because then we can see if the diamond is close, it's too slow, too fast. I was watching my mile per hour. Uh -huh. It seemed like it was. It seemed like it was pulling it down. That's, that's why I was kind of waiting to pull pressure on it. Because I was like, it needs to kind of. One thing I'm gonna tell you: inside here. It's so different, the vast majority of drivers cannot do it. Yeah. Because you don't feel the pull. So like the other day, because we kind of used to do this, right? The other day, me and him were trying to count, we couldn't. We were trying to count during the run, we couldn't. We were off by like, I don't know, 30, 40% off? And we were trying to count, and we couldn't count outside. We go inside, like we're 30, 40% off. I'm like, damn, blood, like it's tough, because you don't have the reference. The right. G's, you right. know, you just don't the, have the it. The G's is what yeah. I'm looking for. So you don't have it, you know, you don't have it. It's really tough, it's really tough. Well, I, I knew it would probably take one, at least one to fail. Nah, no, you'll be fine. No, you'll be fine. Yeah. yeah, so let's do engine and drive shaft on. And then we compare them both, and let's see who is faster, who is slower, and then we adjust the dyno to be closed. So it, it took a second, it took a second to catch because it had like a larger wheel spin on the leaf, right? But the rate is not that far, honestly. Okay. Yeah, the rate's not that far. You just like, it's almost like you shook the tire a little on the lead. That's what it looks like, right? So you would see exactly what you felt. The motor went up a little down and it started climbing up. So the leave is about the same, a little fast, but this is the problem when we're leaving is uh, stainless steel. The um, speed at zero has zero brakes. You cannot apply brakes when it's zero, right? So it will do a small jump, right? And then the, the brake catches. What I can do is, I can speed up just a fuss, just to see how it goes, right? Small adjustment, and then, uh, and then we try again.
there's no power. How much boost is running? 10 pounds or something? 11. <laughs> yeah, it's a two second ramp to 11. To 11? Yeah. Are you crazy? I'm not rich, man. I'm gonna figure it out. 10 pounds? I don't know. 10 pounds? Man, I was I was thinking I was doing a joke and it's real. Come on. No, seriously, it's, it's, yeah, 10 I pounds to put a bone stock at least. I think it'll run 470. You know? I bet you will be fast, but then you can run like 420s on <laughs> board. <laughs> hey, progress! Yeah, I like that. I mean, it's it's the first Did mile. Did it feel good the one to one too? Yeah, I, I mean, it was three? a little bit slow, but you know we can. What happened to the fourth? What what what, what did you feel? I what just I just didn't wasn't pulling on hard enough. Oh, you think it was too soft? Yeah, I was okay. too soft. I mean, you got to be pretty. Okay. When I'm going down the track, obviously, you know, <laughs> in here it's like. Same. I know it's the same, but like it, man, it's, it's hard to get it in here. <laughs> it looks better here. Yeah, the lead was better for sure. Yeah, and that thing, whenever it uh, was it trying to roll the tires on the lead, my, my floater plate sometimes will bind up on okay. the sliders and it'll sometimes it'll it don't actually roll with the track, but like it. Clutch problem. Yeah. Just deal with it. Yep. You have no doors, no G's, you didn't do a burnout, you know, there's no racetrack in front of you, so the, the perception of the driver is completely different, but also you kind of realize, ah, it's the same shit I'm doing inside, right? So like, I'm trying to hear it, but it's even making a different sound, too. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. at the track, you're not hearing all the yeah. background noise, you're just hearing the... Uh-huh. That's a thousand RPM low, too. Yeah, I mean, normally I would shift at like 80. Yeah, well, no, the shit is 85. Yeah, I mean, we can we can years. turn it up more. I just wanted to make sure it was going to do it before. We no? Well, remember, this the yeah. whole the whole goal here it's is actually to make a shift the way it's right. shifting now. So, like, I think the goal is achieved. Whatever else you want to do is up to you. Like, if you want to try more boost, that's my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> you want to shift higher? It'll that's my blow, opinion. It'll just blow you know? the clutch. So, so like, if you ask on. me, I would do, like, triple the boost to shift to 9,000. And let's see what this baby makes. That, that'll be my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so worried about what it makes. <laughs> uh, I mean, I do want to, you know, try to see if we can narrow it down just to see, yeah. see if we can. I mean, that was, how long are we seeing there? That was a five huh? second run? Like the, the cut. Or, that's 145. 145 before it picks up. Oh, right here? Yeah, yeah before, no. before it actual picks up. Like the next one, because to me that's too long when it dips down before mm -hmm. the gear grabs. Yeah, that's still like short enough to cut to like a 120 now. Yeah, 120 and try and give it just a little more RPM because that's actually ending up higher than we thought, right? 8,000. Yeah. Show what they talk about. Come on. So if you guys see, engines living here, right? So drive shaft zero, the motor's on two step. This is when he dumped the clutch. You see the drive shaft moving a little. It's a radio car, so you shouldn't have a lot of wheel spin on the leaf. That's the motor going up. Then the clutch grabbing. You see the motor goes a little down. That's the lack of boost, just to be clear, okay? <laughs> then it goes away. It goes away, right, on that gear. And right here, that's the one-two shift. 
if you guys notice it dips below the ratio of the next one actually so that's what Garrett was saying the cut is too long so he cut enough so he can move the lever it goes into the next gear but it's still off ignition is still off so it takes a second to actually recoup power and start going back up so you can see on the one two too long two three too long and on the three four in the bed so the three four is actually pretty close but the one two and the two three little less time and then it's gonna go straight to the gear and that prevents a lack of et it felt the smoothness like it, it, it felt like it didn't even uh, just change go, right you know, yeah, the car didn't settle yeah. down nothing yeah. It's just something different on a 3.4 because you miss a 3.4, then a 3.4 is perfect here, but mm -hmm. these other ones need shortened. So. Beautiful. Okay, a little cool down, some fuel in, some other stuff, make sure everything is okay. How much you change it? 20? 25? 25. 25. <laughs> Stays flatter. Nice flames. The most important. Yeah, <laughs> that's much important. Any kind of you know, bigger motor radial car has more and more of them going out. Okay, let's turn up the boot. <laughs> you know this is this is a, pr a process, right? It probably it probably would hold three or four more pounds, but. It might. Two or more pounds of clutch. I have to adjust it. Man, it might hold. That might. Man, it might hold like 15 pounds or something. But... <clears throat> Do your final one with an extra 30 pounds in RPM? Yep. We got 3 pounds out of them. Yeah! <laughs> That's the start. That's 30% increase. 3 pounds and 300 more RPM. Good! Where you still want your ramp or whatever? Yeah, just uh, keep the ramp and throw it in at the big end. That way you, you know. We had him. Just because that's fine. Right direction. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> right. This number should be like here. <laughs> and this, this should have another zero, 140. So with uh, with Jonathan's car, we our track rental at Rockingham, 25 pounds to run the same 60 foot. That's five pounds. There's no point to, to it make all of it. It depends. Though. Like for example, when you have more boost, you have more stuff coming out of the exhaust. So you have downforce from the pipe, so you can take some weight off of the car or move to the back of the car. So it's not about the power that you need to use but then it start affecting the chassis, right? So one of the benefits of a, a blower car against a turbo car exactly is that. They have the downforce from the pipes, but turbo cars always, they do that too. So there are some turbo cars today that they are leaving 30, 40 pounds, not because they need, because it helps the front end down. And then they stay with the boost for a long time, right? But you know, you know what we call downforce? The hand of God. Yeah. Because it holds you down, but does not hold you back. Right. This thing holds you back. Yeah. So it prevents you from going further. And you don't have downforce on the back. So if you could move this to the back axis. Just take that off. Yeah, and move this yeah. here is better. But again, if you have a class where you don't have a minimum weight, just take that off. Yeah. It's free ET. Look, take weight off, it's yeah. free ET. That's 37 pounds. I put it on there just because I was kind of cheating. 
because it stood up one uh -huh. really good time. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Not. Nah. And so I cheated for a little bit. No, nah, you could. Get the you could. So what it would be ideal is you do both ways. You break down that way, and you take like five out and add a little boost. Take another five, add a little boost, and then you kind of found the sweet spot because it may not overcome the whole weight. Don't force one do 500 pounds on a turbo car, but we'll do something. Right, and as it does something, at least you have a pretty good angle. It's almost straight up. I've right? got I've got the ride height thing for the for the timing cut for wheelies. I just yes. set it up. It's good, but remember, it's a fail safe. You don't want to hit it. No, because when you hit it, lose. it removes power. Yeah, Nobody yeah, wants to remove power, yeah. right? So it's a fail safe. But besides that, man, it's good. Okay, I'm happy. We got three pounds from this man. Yeah. Okay. Next lap, we put thirty. <laughs> He's thinking. He's yeah. thinking. Nah. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're yeah. getting somewhere. If it goes good, I mean, I don't see any point in doing any more than no, this, I agree. this next one. Yeah, okay, and then good. you go to the track and put yeah, some numbers on the board. Some boost, take some fuel, you know, go slowly. But that's just like you said, it will go fast on its own just by using it, right? Just by using it. Good stuff. And the engine recoups really well from that big drop, big drop. It's awesome. Good stuff. Good deal. Now bring us a log like this at the track. I'll say the oil, you know, we'll <laughs> email be flooded. Good deal, bud. You ready? I'm ready. Let's put some wheels and tires back and go to the airport. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 